Hi, my name is Gwen Wilde and I am the creator of the Brainworks Sensory Diet products found on sensationalbrain.com. First, I'd like to introduce you to our product options and then I will give you an introduction to how Brainworks is used. Option number one is Lifetime Digital Access. Once you join Brainworks Online, you will be given a username and a password. After logging in, you will be taken to the Brainworks for Members homepage that has the following options. There are some instructions for how to create the different formats like the file folder or the first then format. Here you can order physical products at members only prices. We have a quick start guide. The forms uh, that are available for printing that are helpful to give to parents or teachers in particular. Here's an extensive product manual. And then specific sensory diet suggestions for certain target behaviors like wrist biting, head hitting, etc. can be found here. But most of your time you'll spend in the Select and Print Brainworks Picture Cards area. We open the software. There are some instructions, but I'm going to hide these right now so that you can see more of my screen. I would select my age group. I'm going to choose a school age child. And then I select the type of activity that I, that I would like. For this child, I'm going to choose alerting. Please note that we also have all of these cards in Spanish as well. So I'm going to choose alerting activities. And here I'm just going to click and drag onto my template the picture cards that I want to use. Make sure to click on the next button when one is available to make sure you're getting all of the pictures. Now I might change to calming because this child might need some of each. Click and drag the ones that I would like. After I have all of the pictures that I want to print, I scroll to the bottom and I can choose to print them as one and a half inch picture cards or four inch picture cards. I'm going to choose one and a half inch. A PDF is brought up with just the picture cards that I have selected. And now I can print these from my browser window. And then I will be cutting, pasting, and creating the visual sensory diet tools depending on what will work best for this particular child. That's it. Option number two is our single family, single classroom kit plus lifetime digital access. You will have instant access to BrainWorks online, plus you will receive the following in the mail. A Oops. folder that comes with instructions and a three-page sensory symptoms checklist, as well as an entire set of our original 120 picture cards printed on perforated cardstock that you can easily punch out and use to create your file folders and then a set of some helpful forms that are created that are useful to give to parents or teachers to help them understand the, pro the purpose of a sensory diet. You will also receive a blank Brainworks file folder that you will use Velcro dots, which will also come with your product, to put on the squares, the colored squares, and a red spinner to poke through here and a key ring to create a key ring tool. That is all with your single classroom, single family Brainworks kit. Option number three is our therapist printed kit plus lifetime digital access. With this option, once again, you will have instant access to Brainworks online, plus you will receive the following in the mail. The same file folder that you get with the single classroom, single family kit, as well as 10 of our Brainworks folders so that you can use them for a variety of children in a number of different classrooms. And your baggie will come with 10 of the red spinners and 10 of the book rings to create the key ring option, which we'll talk about in a couple of minutes. Option number four is multi-user access. This allows an unlimited number of teachers or therapists from the same school or clinic to access BrainWorks online. Option number five is actually available through iTunes, and that is our BrainWorks app. This provides on-the-go convenience for kids with iPhones, iPods, or iPads. Check that out in iTunes. The BrainWorks file folder is our most popular tool. The greatest thing about the BrainWorks file folder is that the tools for teaching the child to be able to modulate his or her sensory needs are built right in. This is how you would start the program. First, introduce the child to the concept of a sensory engine. Talk about how car engines can help a car go really fast or really slow. Move the tachometer dial to the green part and show the child that when a car moves fast, its engine is on green. Just like green on a stoplight means go, the fast engine is going too and therefore is on green. 
Show them a car moving slowly and then turn the tachometer dial to red. Red means stop on a stoplight and that's what happens when an engine is on red. Tell them that people have engines too. These are our sensory engines and they can cause us to go really fast and really slow sometimes too. Next, look for teachable moments with your child. If you notice that he is overwhelmed, agitated, and overly bothered by things that are happening in his environment, turn the dial to green and say, your engine is going too fast right now. Let's see how we can get it to slow down. An engine is also on green when the t at times when the child is overly excited or bouncing off the wall, so to speak. On the other hand, our engines can be on red when we're feeling slow and sluggish or unmotivated or we appear to be tuning out a lot. Use the tachometer to show the child that his or her sensory engine is on red right now. Try also to find times when your child is focusing well and is, is engaged in an activity. At these times, his sensory engine is just right or on yellow on the tachometer. Just as at a, at a yellow light, a car can proceed with caution or come to a stop if necessary, we're on yellow when we're at that just right speed, and that's our goal. After your child begins to understand the different engine speeds and how they correlate with the BrainWorks tachometer, start asking him or her to identify how his sensory engine is running at different times throughout the day. Once the child has identified his engine speed, open the file folder and cue him or her to choose appropriate activities to help the sensory engine get to the just right speed, which again is indicated by yellow on the tachometer. For example, children who are on red need stimulating activities. These are the activities with the green arrows pointing up on them. Cue the child to choose one to four green activities depending on time available and ask him to do those alerting activities and then go get back on task. The child could be allowed to select some activities, move them to the outside of the file folder, and then this becomes a visual strip for him or her to follow. Children who are overstimulated or agitated by their environments are in green and need to choose red activities to calm down their nervous systems. Again, the number of activities the child is encouraged to choose will depend on several factors such as time, severity of the engine speed, etc. Now here's the tricky part. Some kids are on green because they need lots of sensory input and they are trying to get it on their own without much success. These kids are the ones who can't seem to get enough movement, always running, jumping, crashing, and spinning. Even though these kids are already on green, they still need to be encouraged to choose green activities. They need the really intense forms of sensory input to reach the really high threshold level they have in order for the sensory input to be registered appropriately. The best way to explain that to these children is to say that their sensory engine has too much gasoline in it and the quickest way to burn off that extra gasoline is through the green arrow activities. As children continue to engage with the tachometer and the picture cards with arrows, they will begin to gain an internal awareness of how certain activities assist them in modulation. This is always our goal, self-modulation of sensory needs. In addition to the file folder, the BrainWorks cards can be used to make key rings, which are great for older kids or kids that are being mainstreamed into general ed classrooms. The first then board, which is perfect for younger kids or kids with cognitive impairments, as well as visual schedules or visual strips like this and more. Please feel free to email me directly at gwen at sensationalbrain.com with any questions you have about how to use the BrainWorks Sensory Diet products. Thank you for watching this introductory video. Thank <laughs> you.